Hey dreamers, it's me, Dreaming Tabitha, again, ready for another art challenge given to me by a YouTuber. If you haven't seen my previous challenge, I invite you to check it out. Let's check out what we're doing for today. Today's special guest is Angela Clark, who is a voice artist extraordinaire because she's extremely talented. Angela is one of those really awesome kind of Christian ladies. She's amazing. Let's get into what Angela wants for me to create. Is that a, an appropriate sentence? Wants me to create? Let's see what Angela has on her mind. Hi, Tabitha. This Hi, is Angela. what I'm looking for. I would like to see you create a project that shows David Tennant's Doctor Who character meeting oh, Star no. Trek's Borg. What? <laughs> Some, sounds fun, right? Sure. Give it to me in full color, either paint or markers, your choice, and you have eight hours. All right? Can't wait to see it. Okay, so first things first, love her energy and her enthusiasm. I don't know squat about Doctor Who. I tried watching two episodes one time, was thoroughly confused, not really entertained, thought it was weird. I do know who David Tennant is. I am familiar with Star Trek because your gal is a next gen kind of Star Trek fan. Somehow I have to merge these two worlds together and I am allowed to do this. What did she say? It was at eight hours and I have to decide between markers and paint. So I need to put the thinking cap on. Let's get started with this project. I have a good feeling about this. I'm excited. Let's go. So I have decided to look online for a couple of examples of what Doctor Who is. A lot of the artwork is an explosion of color. I don't know if that's typically throughout this show that it's very colorful and vibrant, but a lot of like the posters and stuff that I'm seeing for it, the cover art, very colorful. I think we need to emulate that. I'm gonna do a basic sketch of what I have in mind on my canvas because I am choosing to paint today. What I have so far, I like. So as you can see here, I've got David Tennant's Doctor Who with some of the crazy hair. Uh, I really love when a character has like really tall, wild hair. I'm fixing his trench coat. I've got the TARDIS in the background and you can see these figures that I've created. They're supposed to be the board. Now when it comes to doing the board, they have a lot of gadgets and gizmos aplenty. And here's a what's it galore in the background. But I want to make sure that I don't have too much in the background that it takes the focus away from the main character. So I'm kind of like limiting the amount of detail I have on each character as they get further back. One of the problems that I'm running into though is that the advertisements for Doctor Who are typically bright blues, bright pinks, bright purples. Whereas the Borg, it's typically this kind of muted gray gold color with splashes of green. We try to make this merge together to be colorful, fun, also kind of serious because the Borg are terrible individuals. Talk about a collision of personalities. I think that with my sketch all finished, I am ready to get painting on this project. Let's go! I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys, the viewers, for even watching what I'm about to do. This has been a crazy idea of mine for a long while and I just thought I would give it a go and I just appreciate everybody's support through all of the madness and the craziness. Now, let's get back to the challenge. And I haven't even really started and I already need to go to the bathroom. Starting off strong. Oh shoot, well, 
We already have our first mistake. Oh, yes we do. That's all right. It's acrylic. We'll cover it up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Normally, you're supposed to paint the background first and then build on that. I am painting around my characters. Probably not the smartest thing that I could be doing right now, but it's what we're doing. It's what we're doing right now. It's what we're doing. I should have just done this in marker on paper because this turned out really cool and that was my bad, my mistake, but we're, we want something, we let's, let's move on from that. So we're going to uh, just keep going. I'm going to work on the police box thingy. What's it called? The TARDIS. I'm going to work on the TARDIS and then I'm going to add color to the background because I want to have like an explosion of pinks and purples and stuff like that coming out. And then I'm going to work on the main characters, but so far things are looking okay. I'm okay with it. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, have you subscribed yet? I don't think you did. I, mm, I don't think you did. Also, this would be your opportunity to like the video. I don't think some of you have done that yet, so need I say more? Well, before I start painting this box, I probably need to have a reference because everything's blue except for a couple of things. Makes sense. Well, we came across uh, mistake number two, and that would be I colored in this box. This box apparently is supposed to look like a Tetris piece, like it's white, and then it has like gray bricks or something like that in that. And I just got lost in my thoughts, lost in the music, and painted it blue. But again, it's acrylic, so it's easy to recover from. We're not going to panic. Nevertheless... <sighs> All right, we are closing in on hour two, and yes, I got myself a nice little mocha. And things are going really well so far. I'm adding all the doodads and whatnots in the background. I kind of, kind of forgot how many doodads and whatnots are on a Borg ship. Here's my reference. But my plan, so uh, bring it in. The plan is to get all the doodads and whatnots of the Borg ship, get that taken care of in the background, and then I'm going to do the characters, and then I think I'm gonna do a wash of the ambient lighting. So a wash basically just means that I'm going to water down my acrylic paints and then kind of splotch it on. That's the thing that I'm thinking about doing. Doesn't actually mean that it's going to work. I'm just gonna kind of touch and go as I as I touch it. Go. Okay, so we're closing in on hour three. Three hours spent on this painting. Things are turning out really, really well in my humble opinion. Thank God I got a second cup of coffee. This is like a mocha cookie crumble. It's decaf, don't worry. Anyway, my painting is turning out really cool. It's nice and whimsical, which is what I was going for. I'm not trying to be too optimistic here though. But it's possible that because I've gotten so much accomplished, I might get done early. But shh, you didn't hear that from me. All right, friends and family, we are coming down to the last two hours and things are going really, really well, but due to planning improperly, uh, I put a hand here, which is super cool, made things really easy, but, which is surprising because I suck at hands. But the problem that we're running into is the fact that it doesn't make any sense. He's literally looking at Doctor Who like this. You're in trouble, mister. And the Borg are a lot meaner 
than that. I'm wondering if I need to change this into a gun or something like that, like the other guy has, and uh, which I mean kind of makes sense because this one little area here kind of distracts from everything else. And then I still haven't done the wash of color. I don't know if I need to. The only problem is that there's like this black dot. Other than that, things are coming along pretty great. There's a lot of detail I could add. I have two hours. I just had to figure out how to spend those two hours wisely. finished an hour to go before I'm done and I have decided to call the quits because it's not enough time for me to add more detail and I just kind of like where it's at. Boom. Oh, and it glows. It glows. Angela, I hope that you like this painting because I really like how it turned out. Okay, so now it's time to hear what Angela has to say about my painting. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I hope she likes it. I hope she hopes she likes it because I really like the way that it turned out. Okay, so Tabitha has sent me the picture that I asked for. I had asked her for Doctor Who meets Star Trek's Borg, and I didn't get real specific. Um, I, I thought about asking uh, for David Tennant's Doctor Who has tea with the Borg Queen. <laughs> I would have been but really I cool. really wanted I wanted Tabitha to to uh, create something for me out of her own mind. What, how does she picture Doctor Who meeting the Borg? And uh, Tabitha, you just did not disappoint. I mean, I love uh, my my favorite part of this is his stance. You've got him like that because the doctor is always on the run. Like oh, you captured that perfectly. I don't know if you're a Doctor Who fan, but it looks like he's just like barged out of the TARDIS and didn't expect to see <laughs> uh you know the 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 creatures in front of him, right? So and I love the color. I love Doctor Who is very colorful. The Borg, on the other hand, they lack color. You know, it's kind of blacks and grays and green and intimidating. And, and Doctor Who is usually full of color. So I love that you have captured that. Uh, you know, the, the colors from Doctor Who also kind of just blend right in to uh, the Borg surrounding. So again, you just captured the whole spirit of that perfectly. I know I only gave you eight hours, and the Borg are like extremely detailed creatures. <laughs> so just I Dixie. apologize for, well, for uh, maybe not giving you enough time. But in that time span that you had, um, the detail is great. You did uh, a fabulous job. And I would absolutely hang this in my office. <laughs> Thanks, Tabitha. No, thank you, Angela, for hopping on board on this challenge excursion of mine. Yeah, you're right. Eight hours is not a lot of time to paint a painting. If you guys have seen my Dan Bass painting, you know that I've already spent about 82 bajillion and seven hours on that. It's not even done. Patrons know what I'm talking about. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to hit the like button on your way out and let me know in the comment section down below. Is there something that you would have done differently? Do you think I needed to add anything? else to it or is it okay just the way it is just because it's a Tabitha special whatever that might be next time on dreaming Tabitha watercolor was not part of it but she just looks so terrified I lost an hour because I decided to scroll through Instagram she looks like a jogger is allergic to dogs and Snoopy came up and licked her hand <laughs>